Now, as we were reporting before, Tasmania has gone into lockdown and this will be impacting the sitting week of Parliament next week, designed to push through those stimulus measures. Joining us live from Tasmania is Jackie Lambie, Independent Senator. Jackie, thank you for your time. Do you know, are you coming to Canberra next week? No, I won't be. Um, and I won't be um, coming to Canberra simply because um, I will have to self-isolate for 14 days on return, um, whether that's part of the stringent or essential uh, the essential rules or not, but I will feel compelled to the people of Tasmania, um, especially after walking through airports and that, to isolate myself for 14 days. So uh, I won't be doing that. What does that mean, though? You're a pretty key crossbencher. You really could put the government to task over the stimulus package. Is there nothing you'd want to make sure that they do as in your role as a crossbencher? Do you know, um, I don't think it's time to argue and be doing deals in... in uh, that's the first thing, and I think those stimulus packages just need to go through as they are. But uh, wheeling and dealing and holding up Parliament um, would make me actually feel quite shameful. So how about we just get the stimulus package through? Uh, I do believe that Labor is going to vote them straight through. I don't know why we need to be up there to discuss them. Uh, they need to get out there immediately, um, and therefore they should go through Monday, Tuesday. What do you make of Tasmania shutting down the state? Was that the right call? Oh, absolutely. Look, I'm right um, beside Peter Gutwin in doing that um, as a new Premier to show courage and the guts that he's just done by making that call good on you. Uh, look, if we know that we could um, get rid of this virus very, very quickly, we could get on with our daily lives and then we can all get back into the restaurants, even if it's just the locals um, supporting local businesses, uh, local restaurants, um, getting back to work so people remain on the job. Um, I think that's a great idea. And I, I, I applaud him for having the courage to actually do this and good on him. You're in northwest Tasmania and Burnie. What's life been like there with the coronavirus? Have you seen panic shopping? Are people concerned? No, what we have seen though, um, not so much panic shopping. Our, our, um, the Coles and the Woolies and the little IGAs, um, look, they seem to be stocking and keeping the stock on in, in most of the supermarket. Of course, your essentials like your paracetamols, your toilet paper, uh, that, that's still um, quite difficult to get at different times of the day. Um, but what we do, what I am hearing, um, and what I did see when I was in the supermarket the other day, was people abusing the staff. And I found, found that really, really shameful. And Tasmanians should know better. I think everyone should know better. When it comes to shutting down Tassie, there have been some critics of the decision made by Peter Gutwin saying that Tassie shouldn't be going it alone. We should have a federal response. What, what do you say to that? You know what? If um, Peter Dutton, the, the Premier, has the courage to call back now before everybody else and good on him and that's showing leadership. Um, look, we've got um, very little cases down here at this point in time. If we can wash them out as quickly as possible and we can be virus free, uh, the quicker we can get back on our feet. He has not shut any doors to trade. Um, we can still get health professionals in and um, allied health and that sort of thing um, on stringent measures, which is great. I am, I am no concerned about the FIFO. We do have a lot of uh, fly in, fly out people working in the mines on the mainland, and um, I am very concerned about them and where, what all this means for them. So that is a bit of a problem. The Chief Medical Officer has been pretty direct, saying he doesn't think school closures is the right call. He says we should keep kids in schools, it helps keep healthcare workers in hospitals, and kids don't really suffer from the virus as badly as we've seen older Australians. Do you support keeping schools open? Um, look, I'm really concerned about keeping the schools open. Like I said, we only have, um, we, we only have a minority of people that have actually um, have the virus down here. Um, and we have now shut pretty much uh, shut our borders to a certain degree. I think that'll help a lot. I think um, Tasmanians will watch this each day. And I guess if that virus starts to spread, then that will be our next option. But the sooner we can clean this up and get rid of it out of Tasmania, the better off we're going to be in the long run. And it'll be cost more cost effective. Um, uh, just what do you make of the federal government's response to the coronavirus so far? The Prime Minister's speech saying that people need to stop it, stop the hoarding, but also giving a direction this is going to go for a very long time. Yeah, I think, um, you know, he could start looking at the measures that Tasmania is actually taking and, and start probably getting a little bit more hardcore because we can either, to me, we can either go in hard and fast and really have a good hit at this, or it's just going to be a really long, slow, painful procedure that goes on for months and months. And I think that's what that's what the Prime Minister needs to decide. But like I said, 
Uh, you know, Peter Gutwin certainly leading by the front foot here. Uh, Tasmania's done the right thing today, and I think that'll serve us well into the future. And can I just clarify before what you were saying, do you think Tasmania should go it alone then with school closures as well? Um, I think that because I said we've got, um, we own, I think there's seven um, confirmed cases uh, and they're in isolation. Um, I think you'll see there's other Tasmanians that have put themselves in isolation because they're not sure. Um, look, we've been in really hard times before Tasmania has, um, but when it comes to the kids, I think we're just going to have to take that day to day. But if that starts to spread down our schools, then... Look, I, I would think that Peter Gutwin would have the courage to come out and say that's it, uh, no school for a month. Um, I would suggest the schools around Tasmania get prepared um, so those kids can work offline if they're at home and we take it from there. Well, it is just an absolutely extraordinary day. I know I keep saying it, but it is. Jackie Lambie, thank you for joining us live there from Tasmania.